Okay, so this is the first time that I've had to clear my car this year. There's actually some snow. Not much snow, but a little bit of snow. I think this is a fitting way to begin this video because it's the first of December and it's snowing outside and I definitely feel that Christmassy vibe already. So I just pulled into the parking lot and I'm so excited. I am bringing you along on an adventure, a coffee and chocolate adventure to be exact. But is there any better kind? I don't think so. <laughs> the drive here was so beautiful though. It's only about 10 minutes from my house and it was like this beautiful light flurry of a snow and all of the branches on all of the trees are covered in white s snow. And it Could you ask for a better way to start the month than snow? I think not. <laughs> but one better way is chocolate, so let's go. I'm at Platter's Chocolate, which is in the old Relitzer building in North Tonawanda, and it is such a beautiful space. There's so many windows where you can look out, especially on a snowy day, and this is a chocolate shop, cafe, and chocolate factory, so it is the perfect spot to begin December because you can get a nice sweet treat, and it's a great spot to pick up some gifts as well for others. Okay, I got my face mask on and it is now time to go inside and get some coffee and some chocolates. While I love coffee, most importantly here at Platters, you can go to the chocolate shop and there's so many different fun chocolates for the holiday season. You've got anything chocolate covered pretzels, these little adorable Rice Krispie treats, which I really want. <laughs> and most importantly, of course, is sponge candy. So you can kind of find anything that's really nice and festive and that's why it's so fun because who doesn't love chocolate for Christmas time? Oh my gosh, I don't even really like shortbread cookies, but look at this buffalo. He's so cute. Oh gosh, it's like glittery frosting too. I want it. <laughs> I want everything, but I'm just getting one thing. So I grabbed a seat right by the window, which is actually my favorite spot here. Plot twist, I actually come here all the time, but usually I don't get chocolate, so. <laughs> um, but it is just like the best place to come during the Christmas season because it is full of amazing decorations. No matter where you sit in here, there will probably be a Christmas tree in your vision. I'm actually sitting right by a fireplace too, so I feel like I'm in a Hallmark movie right now. Um, and. It's a chocolate factory, so you could even sit right by the window where they're making the chocolate or just go over there and watch them make it, which is really, really cool. I just checked and they weren't like full in the process, so hopefully I can see them doing some more before I leave here. But for now, I'm going to enjoy my latte. I got an iced butterscotch latte. They actually have a lot of really fun, like different flavors. They have a sponge candy one, which is amazing and so chocolatey but I got some chocolate some sponge candy itself so I didn't need all of the chocolate I might go a little crazy if I have that much chocolate you may be wondering why I decided to pick sponge candy out of the wide array of different chocolates that we have here if you don't know what sponge candy is it's a staple in Western New York and it's like a specialty here that is like this delicious like lightly like toasted like toffee inside and it's coated in chocolate like the inside has this amazing sponge like texture i guess but it tastes amazing and the chocolate is so good it's one of my favorite things in the entire world this is the sponge candy as you can see it's just like this little thing It's 
so good. Platter's chocolate's a little sweet, but not too sweet. So this is the inside of the chocolate. As you can see, it's like that very spongy texture inside. Super light and super airy and delicious and definitely, definitely worth eating. Okay, so I had two pieces of sponge candy and I think I'm done for the day. <laughs> it's so good, but it just is really, really sweet to me after a while. So I don't know how that package is a snack pack, maybe a snack pack for an entire family, or if I guess you have a real sweet tooth, maybe though a sugary latte. Not the best thing to pair with a sugary chocolate treat. <laughs> But it all tastes so good. And I just wanted a couple different different flavors. So I put the chocolate away from now. I'm gonna just enjoy my coffee while sitting in here and then take a little wander around the store again just to see if they are doing anything else in the factory. just watching them mix the chocolate and everything right now you could actually see them make chocolate from here which is so cool so from here I see I don't know a pool of chocolate oh. and they're just like rolling out some caramel a second ago so it's pretty interesting just got here at the perfect time they're about to pour some chocolate this is the pouring room and there's also a candy room over there that you can watch Yes, very anticlimactic. They just took out the pouring the cases and didn't pour the chocolate. <laughs> so I just like waited and waited and nothing's happening. Thank you so much for following along as I brought you to Platter's Chocolate today to try some delicious sponge candy and to have some coffee. This is definitely one of my favorite places to go for sponge candy in the area because it is just so festive during the holidays. However, there's so many other amazing places as well. Once things begin reopening, I think I'm gonna bring you around to my favorite sponge candy places, so stay tuned for that. But until then, watch tomorrow's video to see what I get up to next during Vlogmas. <laughs>